Hi, this is Tom Coleman, and in this quick tutorial, what we're going to do is look at how to create some text that matches an illustration. So let's get started. So I have this illustration here, and you can see it's kind of like a hand-drawn little organic looking illustration with the kind of the offset lines. Uh, I found that at Blush, so if you come over here, uh, it's Blush Design. You can see there have all sorts of illustrations in here. I'm using the Big Shoes illustration. I'm using the free account, so my choices are limited, but uh, I can choose one of these illustrations, which I did here. You can kind of build out your illustrations, and then you can save that as a PNG. So I brought that into PowerPoint, and I was building some graphics for an e-learning project. Uh, and then what I wanted to do is create some text that kind of looked like it belonged to that. So I put some text on there. This is a little, you know, it looks like it could work, but um, I wanted something that looked like it was hand drawn as well. So let me show you how you can do that pretty quickly in PowerPoint. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to convert all of these letters here. This is the word help, obviously. And we're going to convert these letters here to individual objects. And then that means we can start to edit those like we would shapes. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a shape here because you need two shapes. So I've got my circle. I'm going to go ahead and choose the text. Now I've got two objects selected. If I come up to the Shape Formats in PowerPoint, and I'm going to move over here to Merge Shapes, and you can see there's a Fragment option. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Fragment. And then what that did is it actually converted everything to individual shapes. So there's individual vector shapes. Now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this circle. I don't need that. And then in this case, I look for Infill. So here's like the letter P. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. So I have these objects here. Um, they look like letters, but they're actually just shapes like you would have any shape in PowerPoint. If you want to play around with these, you know, you can come in here, edit the points, you know, stretch them out, do whatever you want to do uh, with those. They're just like any other shape. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to get the right colors for these. So I'm going to go ahead and select my first shape. I'm going to do a color pick, and I'm just going to select the color here. Uh, it doesn't really matter where. So now I've got that color. The other thing I want to do is get the same line color. So I'm going to go to Outline. I'm going to select the line color. I'm just going to choose the hair. So now I've got the line color that same. If I want to, it can also play with the line thickness. So I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and choose a line weight. Uh, that's three. We'll just probably somewhere between three and four. This is four and a half. I'm going to go to more lines just to show you what you can do here. And we're just going to go ahead and choose. 3.8. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty close. All right. Now I've got that done. What I want to do now is get this kind of organic look. And new versions of PowerPoint, uh, you can see uh, we're in the image, uh, the line editing. Uh, you can see there's a sketch style. So you've got some different styles. You can just play around with those. So I'm going to use, I'll go ahead with this uh, wavy one here, the first one. And then you can see that quickly gave me that kind of organic look. And now what I'm going to do is go to Format Painter, double click, and then I'm going to apply this to all of my shapes. And now you can see that quick. I've got a uh, object that kind of looks, the text kind of matches uh, that illustration that I used, right? Uh, if you want to play around with the other shapes here, you can see what the, um, what the different wavy effects do. Right, it just depends on on how extreme uh, you want those to be. One other thing to consider in this, if you're building graphics for something else, there's a couple things you can do. One is you could select all your graphics. I like to group them, so I'll do Control G, and then I can right click, and then I can save as picture. If I save it as a PNG, it'll keep the transparency, which is nice, uh, or I can save it as an SVG. And the letters here will be vector based, so they'll remain nice and crisp. This image that I insert is a PNG uh, or a bitmap image, so it's not going to be vectorized, but the ones I create are going to be vectorized. So you can save them out as images, and that'll um, keep that transparency that you might want to use in somewhere else in your course. Uh, if you want to, what I often do, like something like this, the, the whole slide, I would go just to go to File, Save As, and then save that slide as an image, and then I'd have the whole slide. But then the difference there would be I'd have a white background in there. Uh, that's it. If you want to play around with shapes, you know, you can always insert a shape, 
Uh, I actually will do a format painter on this shape and apply it. And then you can see you kind of get that hand drawn shape. Let me show you a couple of examples how I just I was playing around with a webinar and I'll show you some examples of how I use those in a course. So uh, let's go ahead. This is a little rise demo. So, you know, I got those free graphics uh, from Blush. I insert them. They look kind of nice as little header graphics. Uh, let's look at some options. Here's where I inserted them as image blocks. And you can see I did a couple things that brought these in. Uh, these are square images. So I just made a square PowerPoint slide. And then I created kind of this banner, uh, which is just a rounded rectangle with that effect and then the same effect to the text. And you can see I create a nice little uh, graphics to support what I might be building in a course. Uh, here's uh, I use this content divider. So here's just the image and then I uh, put a blue thing on there and then I just fill the block with blue and you can see it's a nice little content divider. If you want to add your own text uh, you can do that too. Here's one I just quickly added some text here. Not necessarily pretty. Oops I got to play around with that. Fix that. It's not necessarily pretty uh, but it works well and you kind of get that bleed over. Uh, and then here's one where I use the flip card. So I kind of create a little question text box, um, a question header. And then here I just created these little custom text boxes with right, wrong uh, choices. So again, working with the free images. And then I kind of applied that squiggly line effect to these different objects. And that kind of works with the illustrations. Hopefully it's a tip you can use. Um, pretty simple. I can't remember which version of PowerPoint. Uh, but it's in the newer versions and it's a great way to get that hand-drawn look for your illustrations if that's what you're working on.